Hello, my name's uh, Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars, and what a special little city runaround this is. It's the Suzuki Swift 1.3. Uh, it's been converted to LPG with a Prins gas system, which is one of the best systems around. It's on an 06 plate and it's registered, and I've just looked and I've forgotten, the 22nd of April 2006 on an 06 plate. Uh, it's a two owner car and it also has the benefit of some nice low profile wolf race alloy wheels which rather set it off and i think in this good metal gray it looks very nice indeed it's also been what they call in the trade debadged so there aren't any badges which you can actually ask for at the factory when you order any new car today so uh, the suzuki swift badges are missing but they can be easily put back on we can put them on if you want not take much to order them we've just had the car serviced we've just paid for some brand new brake discs as the last ones were looking a little bit uh, a little bit tired to be honest there's lots of tread on this this wheel um, that is practically a brand new tire on the back as is that one and uh, the alloy wheels are suffering for some curbing to be honest they could do with refurbishing but this is obviously reflected in the price of this car and there's the other brand new disc on the front. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Oh, the, the tank is in the is in the boot. They've raised the boot floor ever so slightly. They've made some temporary flooring here, so that's where the LPG tank is. So there's no spare wheel with the car, but um, you can get a, a tin of uh, Holtz tyre weld as you get your home measure. And the seats drop in a 70-30 split. Um, rear wash wipe, high level brake light and uh, it's got some proper Suzuki Swift over mats in all four foot wells and also got two rear inertia seat belts, two headrests and I believe it's got Isofix as well, yes it has, it's got Isofix for uh, the baby seat in the back. Side impact airbags, uh, we have one shot driver's window downwards, electric mirrors and to lock all the doors and isolate the other electric window. There's one key with the vehicle which is a remote key and just show you some more features. So inside the Swift we had a single shot CD player, all the normal radio controls which is uh, rather neat on the dashboard, it's sort of streamlined in with the rest of the dash. It's obviously very uh, theft proof because uh, it was only a Suzuki Swift you could fit it in. Normal heated controls, heated rear screen, and recirculate, temperature, speed of the fan, and direction of the airflow. Small cigarette lighter and a small cigarette ashtray, but I don't think it's ever been used. It's very clean in there. There's also a small pot of touch up paint. Five speed manual gearbox. Um, it's very nice, the gear gate is fine, it's not cracked. Um, we've got a small glove box here with uh, all the manuals that came with the car and also a spare headlamp bulb as well. Uh, I'll show you the rest of the documents uh, in a moment. So we've got a front passenger airbag and driver's airbag. Airbags in the A pillar and in the B pillars as well as the sides of the seats. So the steering wheel we've got volume control there and also to skip modes or skip uh, tracks rather on the CD or the presets. So this is the LPG switch and I'll just start the car. Now because the car is warm it immediately switches over to gas uh, from starting up but on a cold morning that red light will stay illuminated for perhaps about 30 to 40 seconds before all four lights will illuminate. So that's uh, denoting a full tank of LPG and obviously on the dashboard we have to uh, keep some petrol in the petrol tank. We guarantee the mileage there 55,624 miles backed up by service history as well. So what a great little car this is, quite different to the other cars we've sold in the past but with a Prins LPG system on it it was something that we felt uh, we couldn't refuse because it's a, quite a rare unique little car. Um, before we, I show you the documents I'll just take you for a short test drive. So welcome back from the test drive. So we have a Suzuki uh, wallet here 
with all the documents that came with it from the operator's manual. The, uh, there's also an audio manual here as well, towards the back there we are, an audio manual. And also some check sheets from when the car's been serviced at uh, Honda dealers and also a Suzuki dealer. Uh, but I'll come to the service history now. So that's all the booklets are here. Um, to show you, this is the PRINS certificate showing when it was converted to LPG. And it was converted at GasTech. And the equipment supplier was PRINS Alternatech Fuel Systems, now just known as PRINS. And it was converted in 2008 at 25,000 miles. And it's got a 44 litre LPG tank and say fitted with a Prins vapour injection LPG system which is one of the best. So that's the uh, certificate from Prins. Uh, the previous MOT is here which ran out 29th of July 2011 so we will re-MOT this with a, a new MOT before it is sold. And the previous keeper, the V5 here, uh, you'll be the third owner because uh, there's one previous and the last was a lady owner and it is yet to be changed to alternative fuel vehicle so we will happily do this and we'll change it to alternative fuel car and change the type of fuel to gas by fuel I believe with the grams per kilometre being 143 it should be, or oh, from memory, about £130 a year for a 12 months road tax the service history is here with uh, in the Suzuki book and it's showing a first service at 8,000 miles and then at 19,000 miles and then a bit of a jump to 40,000 and we've just had it serviced at our service station at 55,000 miles on the 21st of the 7th 2011. So the next one is due in 12 months or in 18,000 miles, I think it's 18,000, yes, 18,000 miles time. So welcome to the test drive, so uh, we'll just set off, no snatches to the clutch, it feels nice and smooth, and uh, drives well in, very well indeed, of course with uh, those new brake discs it pulls up nice and straight, clunks or noises and, uh, it's very nice. handles very well with these low profile alloy wheels and low profile tyres there's a fairly decent uh, turn of speed we'll just overtake this cyclist we've got to knock a cyclist over during a test drive it's very smooth very quiet a sporty stance to it, this little car. Just, you can also turn the radio on as well from the steering wheel. So everything works on the car as it should. I don't know you could do that actually. Yeah, there you go. Turn the radio on and change uh, stations and wavelengths from the steering wheel. Half price fuel motoring. So I don't know what the MPG is. I mean, the digital readout says around about 40 to the gallon when you're on a steady run. So it should be extremely cheap to run. So I'll just pull over now. And we'll just finish with a uh, final walk around the car. So looking around the vehicle, like I've said, the alloy wheels are all a little bit uh, scuffed, but they can easily be refurbished. We're having a dent man just come along to take out some of these very shallow dents that are in the tailgate. Um, but what a smart looking little car this is. So uh, if you have any questions about this or any of our LPG vehicles, please feel free to give me, Jonathan, a call. It drives absolutely spot on, this little car does. Notice there's a small stone chip to the windscreen there. There's a few minor chips to the windscreen. But say it'll have 12 months MOT on it before it is sold. So thanks for watching and we'll look forward to uh, speaking to you soon. Thank you.